Hey guys, this is Derek with Praxis. I'm here with the education director, G.K. Coleman. Cheers. What's up, man? Just wanted to, uh, you know, since we've been making a lot of changes to the education program recently, a lot of updates and improvements. Uh, not that it, not that it wasn't always amazing, but uh, we're making a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, pretty awesome changes that uh, a lot of people might not actually know about. And so, really, I wanted to just, uh, you know, have you sort of explain what the education program is about, what sort of the unique value proposition is of the of the practice experience, and uh, uh, we'll go from there. Sure, man. Well, you know, one of the reasons that a lot of people are drawn to our program is because we offer this unprecedented opportunity to work for cool startups and do cool work that um, a lot of people just can't get on their own. You know, um, we have a way of connecting people to business partners in our network and get, you know, solving that problem of getting your foot in the door, you know, without having the credentials and so forth. Uh, but one of the reasons why those business partners are so happy to work with us and make these cool offerings available through us is because they know the Praxis participants are part of ongoing professional development. They're working on things with the Praxis staff, with Praxis advisors uh, that are really unique and, and they're doing things to prepare themselves for work, unlike any of the stuff that they do in a traditional education setting. So one of those elements that we recently changed is the addition of an entrepreneurial boot camp. Before our Praxis participants show up to a single day of work, they go through three months of brand, personal brand workshopping, uh, training and professional writing, personal writing, blogging, learning how to build websites, learning how to develop the basics of digital literacy, technological skills, learning things like uh, MailChimp, learning things like Salesforce, so that by the time they show up day one, they have a tremendous amount of training, a tremendous amount of knowledge, so that they're showing up to work with the competitive edge. It's unlike anything else, you know? That's one of the coolest parts about the program that has been added, especially just the new stuff that's going on in, in month one in particular, but throughout the rest of it. I mean, I, I like to tell people, look, you are learning, whatever you're interested in, whatever talents you have, uh, whatever background you come from, you are learning something that you cannot really learn anywhere else, which is how to market and sell yourself in the real world, how to document your work, how to a, a develop a value creation mindset and how to then go out and, and share that with people, whether that means an employer or whether that means a client or whether that means uh, any other kind of, you know, a, a coworker, any other kind of professional you might be dealing with. And so we have people, uh, you know, who I talk to who are interested in the program and, and they say, Hey, look, I'm, I'm very interested in video production. How can Praxis help me? Well, the way the education experience helps you is, is look, you can go get some of that video experience somewhere else potentially. What you can't get is the ability to, uh, to take that into the real world and say, hey, look, I am a quality video producer. This is why you should work with me. Here's my work. Here's what I've done. Um, that's just something that I think uh, you and the rest of the education team have built into the, the program that is, uh, it exceeds anything else on the market right now. So let's take a look at how some of this um, actually unfolds. So I have lots of people ask me, well, what if I want to work more in design or do something more creative or inspirational and not businessy? And, you know, one of the things I, I tell these people is that we don't adopt a cookie cutter business approach. For us, yeah. learning business doesn't mean putting on a suit and a tie and, you know, wearing a, a Rolex or, you know, following some sort of entrepreneurial stereotype. It's about recognizing that first and foremost, doing business simply and in, simply involves creating value for value. Doing business simply means that you have a service or a product. So we've got people in the program who want to do stand up comedy. We've got people in the program who want to create video games. We have people in the program who just want to sell other people's products. We have a wide variety of people. And what we teach them is not how to be some sort of generic business person, but how to find their own voice, how to identify the audience that is right for them and how to build a brand that corresponds to that, to the types of things they want to create. So there is no one size fits all approach. So when participants do the first month with Praxis and they build that website in the first week, by the time they're in the second and third week of the program, they're already mapping out specific things that are unique to them that will shape how we present themselves to the world. And by the time they're done with the first month, they already have a pitch deck delineating projects they've worked on, things they've studied, things they created. In fact, the third week is devoted entirely to just doing a portfolio project. So I have one guy that's interested in, in design. One of his dreams is to work for Nike. 
and he's devoting that third week to just a gym shoe restoration project, you know? I mean, <laughs> that's not the sort of thing that you get from just taking yeah. an online course on business or, you know, just by putting on a suit and trying to, you know. Or even on personal business. branding, you know? Like if you, if you take an online course on personal branding, there's nothing in there that you're going to get that's even remotely close to that. Uh, you're, you're all likelihood not going to be creating things in the real world. And that's, I mean, that's, that's the core of the philosophy really. And, uh, that's, that's one of the, the greatest parts about the program is that you are always building stuff, not that, not just in month three, not just in month two, but you're building things consistently throughout the course of the program. Yeah. And, and the right way to build is the way that works for you, the way that helps you create the result that you want. So my favorite analogy, the guys on the team hear me say this all the time is we take the fitness trainer approach to education. You walk into a gym and you hire a fitness trainer. What do they say? Do they say drop and give me 20 push ups? <laughs> do they say do 30 jumping jacks? Do they say go over to the weights and bench press 100 pounds? Absolutely not. They start with questions. They say, what do you want to do? And you may run a, want to run a marathon or you may want to fit into your tuxedo for a wedding that's coming up. Whatever it is you want to do, we customize, we create a strategy map for you that's going to help you get to where you want to be. You know, that's, that's one of the most exciting things about this program. We have such a diverse range of participants and, uh, and we're able to show them all how to find their own unique voice and how to brand themselves in, in highly individualized ways. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, we, and we, we really, it's, we start with fundamental principles and build up from there. And that's why we have uh, participants start podcasts. We have participants like Mitchell Earl write books that get published on Amazon. You know, like uh, these kind of things, they don't really fit into the mold of, like you said, business or even like our traditional definition of entrepreneurship. But it's all about taking those unique things about you, the interests that you have, and putting them out into the real world and then learning how to captivate and capture uh, a specific group of people who will find value out of that. And uh, that is, is something that's totally universal. I mean, it, it, is, it is not just applicable in a business setting. It is applicable in, in basically any kind of human endeavor. And, and you know, th this, this takes us to a basic economic fact that you and I understand, but yeah. as simple as it sounds, lots of young people miss it. Money in the free market is a reward for creating value. That's how you get money. You don't get money because people like you. You may get it from your mom and dad in that way, but in the marketplace, that's not how you get money. Uh, you don't consistently earn an income through charity or just by having credentials. Even if you have a credential that gets your foot in the door, you have to be really good at solving problems or adding value in order to sustain that. And so that's what we teach people how to do. We, pe we teach people how to identify their unique talents, their unique propensities, their unique abilities, cultivate that, and then translate that into the process of creating value, thinking about everything they learn in that context. Yeah, and participants, they, they finish the program uh, not only with that ability to create value, but also sort of having like a vocabulary and a grammar with which to explain the value they can create, which is something that is very, very hard. And I see it all the time for young professionals to do. Um, so in, in speaking of, of value creation, then, you know, we, we've sort of discussed month one, month two, month three. Once we sort of move beyond that into, you know, into your apprenticeship, let's say, and, and you're actually working on real projects, uh, how does the educational program, how does it support that? You know, you're working on a website for your employer, or your, 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 you know, the, the startup you're apprenticing at. Uh, what, what resources are available to participants and how does, how does this whole process look? How do we help them create value? Yeah, you know, this is really one of the cooler aspects of the program. You know, in conventional education, you're, you're somewhat guessing. You're, you're relying on, on feedback about the market that's very indirect. And, and a lot of times you're, you're uh, relying on data that's pretty dated. You're hoping that the things you study will still matter in four years and that you'll find someone that considers these skills to be valuable. But in our program, we have real-time feedback from the market. So every one of the Praxis participants is working with a primary advisor. And while they're doing that, we're working on a higher level with their actual business partner. And we're continually updating them on what the participants are working on. We're getting feedback from them about if they want us to go in a different direction, if they like the direction we're going in, if they want us to make any tweaks or refinements, and we assimilate all of that into the learning process. So our learning process involves, basically, we come at it from three angles. Number one, yeah. what does the participant care about? What are things they're interested in? What are things they've always wanted to build? Number two, what are weaknesses or 
needed areas of improvement that we see as an advising staff? And then number three, who are they working for and what sorts of skills do, do they want to develop? So in the program, no one is ever guessing. Whatever you're working on, your business partner knows, they sign off on it, they give feedback for what they want more and less of, and you always have that assurance that everything you're studying, yeah. everything that you're creating is going to pay off, not just in terms of giving you useful skills, but it's yeah. going to make them happier with their work, which is why, you know, for instance, we have a participant who works for Gill Quality in Atlanta. Within two months of working there, his business partner sent me an email asking <laughs> if he can promote him, you know, to full time. And, yeah. you know, I said, well, why, why are you asking me if that's okay? And he says, well, I don't want it to get in the way of his praxis work. And I says, that is the praxis work, you know, uh, Th that's exactly the work. It, yep. It's not to create a bunch of busy stuff to distract our participants because that's what TK or Derek or Isaac thinks is important. Yep. It, it's to help them create the results that matter to them. And how we get there isn't what's important. That we get there and that they're supported. That's what's yep. important. Yeah, we're not so much defining subjects as we are defining specific objects and specific goals with which to base your learning around. So everything is highly actionable. Everything is, is, is to be used in a, a very immediate context. Um, and uh, that's just something that, uh, I mean, when I, was, when I was learning in college, I mean, you just don't get any of that. You know, you, you, you study, 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 and then you sort of hope that some of the, something that you studied will allow you to use it in the real world. Versus like we know, okay, here's a problem to be solved. Here's exactly what we need to learn in order to fix that problem. And, uh, and yeah, you go. Yeah, man, to that point, you know, we have a Praxis participant now who recently graduated the program and he has a sales management position. He came into the program wanting to learn more about sales and wanting to do well in that. So him and I worked on a professional development project one month. And when I reached out to his business partner to tell him what we were working on, he said, that's good, but I actually like it to be a little different. He said, here's what I would like him to do. And I would like him to study the Sandler's training system. So that kind of was different with our idea of what the best approach would be. So yeah. we switched over. We took the approach that his business partner wanted him to take. Everybody enjoyed it. Everybody won. And he eventually got a promotion precisely because of that. That's what market-driven, goal-oriented, project-based education truly looks like. Yes. I mean, and, 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 you know, we have some structure to the program, but the structure is really, it's a guideline and, and the support. It's the basis, but we can adapt it as needed to the needs of the participant, to the needs of the business partner and anything else that needs to be done. So you are not coming into a classroom where it's like you get an assignment on day one that says, go get the syllabus signed or, or whatever. And, you know, you're just going to do this on this date and this on this date. And then, you know, at the very end, you have a final test. None of that happens in the education program, which is which is uh, pretty awesome. And, and, and really, that, that's why we're achieving the results we do. I mean, oftentimes, you know, I know we guarantee a job at the end of the program, a job offer, but we're seeing participants get job offers just a couple months into the program. You know, just they've, they've done just a few months of the educational experience and the business partner is already like, hey, I'm sold. I just want to start them early. It's like, great. You know, and we had participants who have no prior sales experience come into the program and a couple months later, they make the largest sale in their company's history. Um, that is not something you can get out of a, a traditional semester-based education program because b out of necessity that the semester says, no, you can't make the largest sale until you've done all these steps. You know, yes. like we say, yeah. Hey, look, we're going to, we're going to help you get there as quickly as possible. And if you can take the final on day two and pass, then awesome. Let's make it happen. Oh man, for sure. And you know, when a lot of people listen to this, they think either in terms of complete structure where everything is predetermined. Yep. or completely self-directed. So what do I need you guys for again? You know, but the program is neither one of those things. We don't just send people off and say, all right, do whatever you think is cool and give us some money for that. No, no, it, yeah. it, there's a lot more support that goes into it. And so here are some of the things that you get. Number one, um, every, every member of the Praxis team has office hours so that every single week, any one of our participants can sign up for office hours and have the opportunity to meet with, our marketing director or our director of business development or myself. In addition to that, every week we have Praxis group discussions where current participants and past participants all participate. Um, we have guests who come to these group discussions and share their entrepreneurial stories and answer questions about their journey. We have skills workshops that we do where we actually learn new things, practical tools that we can take back to the business partner. In addition to that, um, those weekly group sessions, 
Every Praxis participant has a Praxis advisor. They meet with that advisor every other week. In addition to that, they're part of a, a private Facebook group, and the community is pretty vibrant there. I mean, every single oh, yeah. someone is posting some project they're working on or some question. I, I mean, right before we hopped on this call, <laughs> Someone just posted a, a question about a problem they were having with YouTube channels and, and personal branding, and they yep. immediately had about like four or five comments, and the problem was solved right away. So it, there's a, a pretty vibrant community that gives a lot of support and a lot of structure. So the structure is there, but it, it's, it's, it's a non-imposing structure. It's a structure that's capable of backing off and allowing you the freedom to be as independent as you want to be. But all of our participants have a tremendous amount of guidance, support, and direction, and mentorship, not just from the Praxis staff, but also from their own peers, and also from a broader network of entrepreneurs as well, which is something that you just don't oh, yeah. get if you go get an awesome job. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, you don't get it with a job, and, and you don't get it in a traditional education program. And we have, we have a closeness in the program and a level of support that does not exist in a traditional classroom. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I remember I, I see all the time, too, speaking of that, of how valuable that community is, I see people post like, hey, I'm, uh, I'm at work and I'm working on something. I can't get a, a question answered. Uh, people will answer it right there, you know, rather than having to go to Google, for example. Um, so that's that's one of the best parts. And I think, at, you know, just as we're adding more and more people, the, the community is growing increasingly valuable. Yeah. And, you know, if you have a traditional job, you know what your employer thinks of what you do. But how many people get to interact with the founders of multiple startups who can also weigh in and give answers to their questions and insights to their dilemmas and give them, you know, all of these different perspectives? Yeah, that, that, that's, I mean, it's, it's amazing what uh, the participants are having, you know, access to right now. Um, so, uh, you know, participant comes into the program, they have all of this stuff. I mean, what are, what are some of the things that, uh, because the program is highly customizable, what are, what are some of the things that participants are working on throughout the program? Like, what are some of the projects they're taking on? Uh, and what are people, you know, as they finish, like, what's next, you know? How does the, how does the education program sort of support that? Sure. So one of the core elements of every one of the professional development projects is a deliverable. Um, a deliverable is something that you build, something tangible that you create, or some sort of final product or service you provide to signal that ability to take information and create value with it. You know, uh, one of the things we've talked about before is how Traditional learning is often based on the interrogation model of knowledge demonstration, yeah. where you basically go learn some things, and the way we know you learn what you learn is by, you know, sort of interrogating you. We might yeah. interrogate you nicely, or we may allow the multiple choice test to do the interrogation for you, but ultimately, the way you demonstrate knowledge is you prove that you were not lying about what you said you were doing last night by yeah. answering these various sorts of questions about it. And the problem with that model is that it's just not mirrored by anything that takes place in the real world. You know, in the real world, it doesn't matter if you remember every detail from Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> in the real world, the only way that is useful to someone else is if you can make jokes out of it and make people yep. forget about their horrible lives, or you can provide some interesting, insightful commentary about it that allows people to get more out of the reading experience. You come up with a new way of publishing it. You write interesting blog posts about it. You have interesting podcasts about it and so forth. So creating some kind of deliverable is a vital part of the professional development project. So every month, our, our Praxis participants are actually producing things. So one example of, yep. of how this happens right out of the gate, end of the first week, you have a personal website, something that half of their peers have never done. You have a, and that's going to be your personal branding space on the web. End of the second week, you already have three articles that you've published. At least one of them needs to be on a third party. By the end of the third week, you will already have devoted that week to some kind of portfolio project, whether that's an ebook, a podcast, or something like that, already out there, already created. By the end of the fourth week, you already have a personal pitch deck. Pitch deck. The second month, you're doing a writing workshop. By the end of that second month, you're gonna have 20 to 30 pieces of content that you've published. Many of them will be published on third party sites, which yep. for many people, apart from their professors, many of the people they work for will never have published that much. I have Majority, a yeah. I have a participant who is um, who just recently finished starting a podcast. And he was very unimpressed with himself because this is just something that he does. And one of the things I said to him is that, 
if your employer wants to start a podcast for their business, they're far more likely to come to you than yeah. to do this for themselves. Most of the people you work for haven't done this kind of stuff. You know, it's just not a part of our conventional training, our conventional education. So, you know, by the second month, you already have something like that out there where, where you do this daily blogging challenge and you have 30 pieces of content that are out. Um, you know, different examples of, of what some participants have done. I've had someone write a book. I've had someone create a game. I've had yeah. someone create apps and sell them in the app store for Apple. I've had people create podcasts. I've had people create an ebook. You, men you mentioned Mitchell Earl, who not only co-wrote a book, but also created an audio book. Yeah. Um, we have uh, Diana Zitting, for instance, who put herself in a position to be a sales manager by using some of her time to create an onboarding system for yep. hiring salespeople, you know, so there's a wide variety of things. I mean, we have a DJ in the program right now who's interested in doing some interesting things, you know, music wise, uh, you know, yeah. we have an event planner in the program who's looking at throwing events and making the next Burning Man. So we, we have Abby Lovett running a, running a business on her own. Um, you're, and you know, the fundamental philosophy behind all of this, and, and I like to bring it back to like, you know, how do you show your value? It's, you know, the traditional mechanism is things like a resume or, or going into an interview and stuff like that. None of that stuff speaks very loudly. And it's also just impossible to get it all out under the table verbally and through writing, you know? So if you, if you're someone who has built a website, well, what does that tell me as an employer? Well, maybe it tells me that, you know, you understand WordPress, maybe you understand PHP, maybe you understand CSS and HTML. Maybe that website has a lead capture. So that means you must know MailChimp, for example, or you must know, you know, email marketing or something like that. Like that thing is stuff that you can grasp instantaneously as a professional in the real world, looking at somebody's work versus looking at a resume and being like, okay, the guy says this, 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 uh, this, well, how do I know this? You know, like these projects are the things that stand out. And so I think as participants, one, it's a learning exercise too, but, but two is like, as they're going about their professional lives during and then after the program, these are the things that set them up for success later on. Yeah. And going back to a point you made earlier, how, um, among the many skills they learn, they also learn the skill of showing how the skills they already have have value. So if you look at most resumes, for instance, most resumes are basically arguments proving that the holder of the resume did what they were told, right? Yeah. right? I, I, I jumped through this hoop, I did this particular activity, and it's not immediately obvious to another person that yeah. that has any relevance for them. But let's say you've done, you've done something like started a podcast, and let's say your podcast is on philosophy or anthropology and it has nothing to do with what this business is about. We teach our participants how to understand the things they do in terms of value creation and then frame that in a way that's relevant to other people. So if you've created a podcast, regardless of what the content is about, you've had to learn things about reaching out to other guests and getting them on your show. Yep. That's sales. You've had to learn things about successfully scheduling interviews you know, um, that's administrative work. You've had to learn things about how to use audio editing software, video editing software. You've had to learn things about hosting. You've had to learn things about marketing to get people to, li um, to listen to that podcast. You've had to learn about the basics of like uh, web analytics, how to track yep. the amount of traffic you're getting in order to put ads on that site or to make money from that podcast. You've had to learn a whole bunch of things and even if your business partner or a potential employer doesn't care about the topic of your podcast, you can actually sell them on all of these various skills that you have, which are transferable to anything, you know? Dude, I mean, as you were listing off those skills, I was, I was just thinking, imagine if you tried to learn all of those first by like reading textbooks, you know, and like you have like classes on all of them. And then it's like at the very end, it's like start a podcast. It's like you'd never get to the podcast, you know? Whereas like all of this stuff is very contextual and it's, uh, it's, 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 it's tied to a real world result, which is also very encouraging. You know, our participants love the fact that uh, a couple months into the program, they have a number of completed projects. It does something for your self-esteem. It does something for your motivation. And like you said, it does something for your ability to demonstrate the value that you have uh, uh, to a employer or a professional or, you know, another client or whatever it is that you're trying to do. So, man, and, and this you know, is awesome. Yeah, man, you know, this is how learning takes place. This is what makes you great when you learn things. I mean, anyone can study things that they have to study in order to keep authority figures or family members from getting mad or from worrying about them. But if that's the basis for what you learn, then you're always going to be outshined 
by the person that loses sleep at night because they love that thing so much, you know? Yep. So if you're yep. studying accounting or chemical engineering or you're learning math for reasons other than this is what fires me up or this is what I really, really want to create and this is a means to an end, then you're going to lose the gig. You're going to lose the opportunity to the person yep. that is fired up about that. So you might as well start yeah. your own goals, your own interests, and let that be the driving force in your learning process. Totally. Um, well, hey, man, thank you. This has been awesome. Um, if, 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 you know, if, if, if you're watching this and you're thinking, hey, look, I, I want to apply to the program, um, you can go to discoverpraxis.com slash apply. And, then, and more importantly, look, this philosophy, you can start this now too. Get, get, get going on this before you've even you know, applied to the program. Start you know, thinking like this. Think like uh, the education program and, and, and you know, start working on projects in the real world. So I'll, I'll throw one more thing out there too. If you feel like, oh, I don't know if I want to apply or if I have what it takes to do it, send me an email, tk at discoverpraxis.com, and I can give you some small challenges to start with you know, because I, I believe in an experimental approach to learning. You don't have to commit your life away to get started making practical changes or learning the basics of creating value. And we can go from there. Awesome, man.